Hey guys, today I'm going to make a short video on how I got SDR++ running on my U console. Um, there's probably many ways on how to do this, but I'm just going to show you guys the way I did it. Let's go right to the computer and we'll start that right now. Okay, so once you get to your computer, you want to open your browser and you're going to go to the Clockwork Pi forum and then go to U console. I'll have a link in the description for this. You're going to look for the forum post by user Rex. He is the guy who has pioneered many different types of Linux with his kernel for uh, our great uh, U console device. And if you want to, you can find him over on the Discord. He's always happy to answer questions. Um, you want to scroll down and you're going to find his mega folder. You're going to open it there. I already had it open. And you're going to go to images and you want the latest bookworm. You don't want the light. The light's not going to give you the desktop user interface. There's other versions of uh, Linux here. If you want to try out Kali, that works fine and a bunch of other ones, but you're going to want to download this one. This is the one we're looking for. You click download. I already got it here. I downloaded it already. And in order to flash that, you're going to use Belinda Etcher. I'm pretty sure if you've used Raspberry Pis, you already know how to do this. You can also use the Raspberry Pi imager. I went ahead and already installed that. We're going to choose the image we just downloaded. So if we go here and choose this one, you put your SD card in the machine. And there's our 128 and we're going to flash that. So we're just going to let this flash and then we'll come right back when it's ready to go. Okay, so our image is finished writing to the SD card. I went ahead and put it in my U console and I'll walk you through the first steps of booting it up. Okay, just really quick. Um, if you used Belinda Etcher to, to image your SD card and you were getting a black screen on boot up, you're going to want to extract the actual file. It is a XZ file. I use WinRAR, so I just extracted it here and it's going to give you a IMG. That's the file you want to flash to your SD card. All right, now let's get back to the actual setup. Okay, so when you're finally booted up and you see this screen, you just want to go through the prompts, fill out your country. I'm just going to skip this because this is just for this video. Um, again, I'm just, I have to set a password. So let's set password one two three and my username should not be my password let's just put sim in there hold on okay sim i don't know if you guys can see this Oh, come on, focus. All right, I think that's in focus. Let's skip ahead. You want to connect it to Wi Fi. Okay. All right, then you want to choose your browser. It doesn't really matter what you use. Um, then just click on next. Next. I'm gonna go ahead and check for updates. I might skip forward if this takes a billion years. All right, and we are ready to go. Let's hit okay. It's gonna ask you to restart. Okay, so it looks like we are at the desktop now. We're gonna go ahead and open terminal and we're going to type in sudo apt install 
SDRPP. You want to hit enter. You want to hit Y for yes, enter again, and it's going to go ahead and install SDR++ for us. I believe this is a custom build made by Rex on the forum to get it to run, to install this way. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not really a Linux guy like, you know, a lot of people say they are, but um, I all I know is that on the original image, you could not install SDR++ um, because there was, there's like a really big mix match in builds uh, that are available on the GitHub. So that was kind of frustrating, but this, I've used this for a while now and this works great. Um, once that's installed, I will show you guys it working and we should be good to go. Okay, and it looks like it is done installing and it should be here in accessories and you wanna go ahead and just launch it. And there we go. Um, just to show that it is working, I can open up my SDR since it's already inside of here. Um, well guys, so it seems like I had to reboot my system after installing SDR++. Um, it wasn't detecting the serial of the SDR dongle that's inside of here for some reason. So after a reboot, it just started working normally. And as you can see, we're all ready to go. And there you go. That's how you install SDR++, the easy way at least, onto a Clockwork U console.